Welcome to the channel. Let's go charity shopping. So I'm going to try it today without the microphone attached and see how well it handles it. Good morning. See if there's anything fresh out for us today. Yeah. Has it got the zip on? Oh, it has. Beautiful first grab. Hello. Hey there, mate. You all right? Yeah. We've got more electrics coming out today, have we? He must be out the back working his bum off today then. Sorry, was you talking to me? Kind of, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of. Oh, okay. What is this one here? That's a scroll, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted the other one, but there's no lead, is there? No. Oh, no. Just up there, but I mean, the lead's only like 12 quid or something. It's a bit cool, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what I can even tell you what that is. 50 quid, it must be a good one, my goodness. I'll have to do some research on that. Yeah, they normally, they normally do um, eBay, don't they? Yeah. Oh dear, what is this? It's ready for our new venture. What's your new venture? Pins. Bonfire night. Pins. Oh, okay, yeah. interesting. Looks like you're getting ready for bonfire night, if I'm honest. Never know about the old builder bear stuff. Whatever her name is. Yeah, it's the Nickelodeon one. We'll have that, I think. Three fiddy with no clothes. I've done that before. Not for that. Let me stick it in here. Yeah. These, these do well, but I just can never be bothered shipping them. If it's like a fiver, I might take the chance on it. Eight, sorry, buddy. I'm bothered. Meekin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Game technical apparel. Can't do it. 15, I just can't. Do, 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 do. What is that? Tom Tom. This one's obviously for the PlayStation 3, isn't it? Logitech Driving Force GT PS3. 85. Yeah. It's just not worth it. For me, good bargain if somebody wants one. This might be, that's 20 quid on that. Well, that's a tenner. Antler is decent, but always relatively tagged up. Yeah. Okay, the bow's back. Oh, it's 22. Oh, it has found. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it to be as found? It's got the handle in there. It's broken. Hello. Hello. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. They got you working to the bone. I said out there. Yeah, oh, right. mate. Do you know why this one's as found? Normally, you guys know the answer. Oh, okay. Depends who priced it, doesn't it? I suppose. I've looked inside. I tried to find a damage or a break or a split. Not a zip or anything zip. like that. No, I've got the zip. Does the wheel spin round? Yeah, oh, I'll take a risk for a fiver then. Who cares? <laughs> as long as it, look, everything we just checked for function works. So who cares? Can I be an annoying prick? Yeah. <laughs> Why the hubbard? Yeah, no point in changing anything, is there? I'm just going to put those two bags down there. I'm going to have them, but they're kind of, I don't know, a pain to carry around. I feel like I almost left that look. Oof. Nah. Yeah. Bobbly though. Bobbly. Brown. Nah. 650 is empty by that. I think it's like 16, 18 in it. Should we go for it? Should we, should we go for 18? Let's get it and go for 18. Yeah, let's do it. Rohan's winter bags. Oh, I'll do some of them and they're my size. Please be less than six quid. Five, come on. For a fiver, winter bags. Somebody turn them up. 
Uh, somebody's turned them up. They've been turned up. They still fit me though. I'm not sure if I'm done yet. The thing is, I keep turning my head and there's something else to buy. It must be Wednesday today. That's what it is. So we'll add to the bundle, we've got a nice little Lego stationary thing. Two quid and Ada. What's that? Ponytail. Yeah, why not? Now those little quick trips where you can fill bags with bags are the kinds that I like. Let's dive in and see what we picked up. Lovely little flat face jumper, and I picked this up simply because it is almost very Christmassy. It's got reindeers and snowflakes. In fact, I say almost very Christmassy. It is very Christmassy. It's a size medium, quarter zip. Love the laundry detergent, whatever they're using. It smells really nice. Just a very, very, very nice top. Is a bit pricey what I'd like to pay, but I do believe I can probably get about 15 to 18 pound on Vinted for one of these. So I'm hoping that's what happens and that's what transpires for my £6.50 pickup. But a nice solid start. We'll stick with the clothing. You saw me pick these up while I was in there and showed you to the camera that somebody had turned up the cuffs. Hopefully that's focusing. They have turned them up. So smart ass over here had the great brainwave and was like, I'm gonna pick them all out and then they'll be fine again. No, I've picked them all out, but the person who did it actually snipped the ends of the bloody cuffs off. So they've snipped the cuffs off and then turned them up. Oh, luckily I've got a decent tailor just up the road. So I'll get him to redo them basically just to do it again. Cause that's a really good job. I could never do it as good as that. And then I'm going to keep them for myself anyway. If somebody hadn't cut the ends off, they'd sell for about 20, 25 quid. These are Rohan winter bags, I believe they're called. Yeah, winter bags. It was only a fiver. They're going to be my winter trousers. Although I've just realized this second right now, as we're filming, I bought them for myself because they're a 34, but I've been dropping weight like it means nothing. Oh, fuck me. Oh gee, these are absolutely trash. Look at that. I think somebody has cinched them in there as well. Right DIY job. They have. What DIY job is that? Look at this. In the back. I'll just use them for trash in. Hopefully, hopefully, actually, that fixes my 34 waist issue. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why there was a fiver, you see. They knew about all that. Let me tell you, they, they've got a price list in there. When I went into the back once before, I said, oh, how much is this jacket before it came out? She went one second, looked in her list and went, Rohan, 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 Rohan. Eight pounds. So they knew what they did. They, they knew. They knew. Picked up Everest. I think I called her Sky when I was in there, but I don't really know the names of them. But this one is Everest. I actually sold these before. The one I had last time had a lot more kit than this. This is pretty much naked. It does have the collar, but it doesn't have the badge. Buy Builder Bear, £3.50 paid. I think even in its naked condition, there's around about 20 quid out of that. I might go a bit cheaper on Vinted, obviously. But nice little store topper upper. Sticking on the theme of plush, we've got this Soil... I can't remember what it's called now. Something Raptor, Silo Raptor. So I can't remember, but it was £1.75 from the Jurassic World. Oh, there was a camera. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm not a nerd, unfortunately. I'm not. Sorry, nerds. Oh, Sorry, nerds. Sorry, Scottish. Sorry, Albanian. Sorry, Romanians. Sorry, Bella. Sorry. The list is endless. I think there's about 10 to 12 quid out of that one. This next one we picked up for £2. I don't know if I put it on camera or not, but it is a Lego stationary rotating pen holder. Done some, paid £2 for it. I've done some research. I think originally it came with a little Lego head sharpener, but it's missing. It is what it is now. I have to just deal with it. But I think even as it is, there's 12 to £15 in it, depending on timing and market, how many is, it, how many is listed at the time. So not a bad little pickup. Now into those two really cool bags. So we've got a Bose overnight bag. It's a pull out handle carry case. It said sold as seen and I could not figure out for the life of me what it was. Cause there's no way it's just because of the shape of it because that's gonna happen to any bag that's not in use. It's just gonna fold in on itself. But I've checked it all out. Once it zips and everything, it's fine. I think I know what the issue is. I think it's this handle, this button thing. It doesn't stay clipped in. And then when it's up, 
it's it, see it's got a bit of movement to it. I mean it does stay up enough for you to to use, but other than that, there's nothing else wrong with it. It's got loads of space inside. It's got space inside all your toiletries and whatever else. It's also still got the shoulder strap never used. Somebody has sold one pre-owned condition for 40 odd quid. So I'm going to aim for about the same, even with the problematic but not detrimental handle issue. So I've wheeled it around the garage and you can still do it. So hopefully, let's say 35, 40 quid on that one. But of course, the favourite find, straight off the bat, pun intended, tennis head, is this vintage head bag. It's not the St. Lucia, but it's still very, very nice. It still has the zip-off compartment. Unless they're all called St. Lucia, but I thought the St. Lucia one has St. Lucia written across there. So it's got the zip-off compartment still, so you can actually take this off. Oh, there's something else in there. Found some bits in there as well. I'll show you what they are in a minute. Is that just a piece of paper? No, but yeah, still, still got the zip-off compartment. Inside here, you've got two pound stretcher. Buy pound stretcher. I think they're like kit bags or something to put your stuff in. I don't know what they are. And then there was this fold up into like a little satchel pocket thing, backpack, it's just a small little backpack. I don't think it's army issue, although it does look it. No, just tat, I think. A shoelace. Oh and a penny. Now, as with all of these bags, over time they start to corrode. And that's what's happening here. It's starting to get the stickiness on the top layer. More on the handles. If I rub it too much, if I really rubbed it, oh, it's not actually doing it too much to be fair, but can you hear that? It's quite sticky and it's starting to have that kind of feel to it, but it's not bad at all at the minute. I am gonna look in to see if I can save it. Have a look online, see if there's any kind of, I don't know, treatment. Maybe I've only got to wash it and take the top layer off or something. I don't know. But I think I've still got a good few years in it left yet. And for £5, that is an absolute bargain, especially with the end still on it, the end compartment. And the clip still works. Fiver. I'll do some research and see what they're selling for. Off the top of my head, it's going to be about 40 to 50 as far as I'm concerned. Could be wrong, the market might have changed. It's been about seven months, eight months since I sold one. So I don't really know. I don't think these, I don't think these are worth anything, these little pound stretcher bags. And that just looks to me like it was actually just a piece in between. I don't think it was ever, ever taken out. I really enjoyed trips like that. I was actually going to go do the full rounds today, but I couldn't. Now that I'm caught up on my postage, I think tomorrow, Thursday, no, I'm not because that shop's closed on Thursdays and it's kind of the reason why I'll go. Maybe Friday, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to start figuring out a new sourcing day where I'll go and do all of them. And then we can get some nice videos out of that and hopefully just keep topping up the store, you know? Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you again shortly. ta -da. See if I can turn this off with this.